brought to you by Kellogg's. Kellogg's cereals. The best to you each morning. From Kellogg's of Battle Creek. Now let's all play What's My Line? And now, live from New York, let's meet our What's My Line panel. First, the delightful star of stage and television, co-starring in the comedy hit of the year, the motion picture, one, two, three, Miss Arlene Francis. And now a gentleman who is dearly beloved by all of you is Paladin, who will change his type, but not his big talent, when he appears next Sunday in Stephen Vincent Benet's dramatic poem, John Brown's Body. Mr., what is his name? Richard Boone. Here is the very chic and the very attractive Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. And now, our well-loved panelists from Random House, who's starting the new year with a long list of bestsellers, of course, Bennett Sir. And here's the bright, shining star of that new Broadway smash hit, How to Succeed in Befuddling the What's My Line panel Without Really Trying, <laughs> John Charles Daly. Well, since we're launched in the new year, I suppose I might as well confess that while Bennett is kind enough to say I befuddle the panel, it's better to say the panel befuddles me. It's good to have Dick Boone there sitting on the panel tonight. Uh, Dick and I, I think I can say with utmost honesty, are old friends. Back in the early days of television, we had the joy of working together for many, many weeks, and none of us, I think, who knew him in those days have taken more pleasure from his success than he has himself. It's wonderful to have you with us. <laughs> well, it's nice to be back and um, have Bennett there, ready to receive whatever blandishments we may offer him. We are up to the old tricks. We've got some very interesting occupations and some very nice people who brought them to the theater tonight. And we'll also uh, have a famous mystery guest before the panel a little bit later in the program. We'll meet our first challenger. At and now let's meet our first contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? Eddie Asper, right? <laughs> Mr. Asper, where are you from? San Pedro, California. San Pedro, California. Yes. Well, it's nice to have you here. I've been out in California recently, and I must say I envy you residents in that great state. May I Thank present you. our panel, Mr. Asper? How do you do? Will you join me over here, please? You know how we keep scoring what time? All right, if you know how we keep score, we let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. <laughs> well, panel, I tell you what we'll do. We'll tell you that Mr. Asper is salaried and that he deals in a service. And we'll begin the general questioning with um, Arlene Francis. Mr. Aspirin, do you work with your hands in your job? Not aspirin, dear. Aspirin. <laughs> and after Mr. Aspirin gets through with you, you may all need aspirin. That's different. Aspirin, is that it? Aspirin. 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 Like, like a cat. aspersion. Like aspersion. Right. We will not cast any tonight, no. No. Yes. I apologize, Mr. Asper. But do you work with your hands or are you having a conference? <laughs> well, would you restate your question, Miss Francis? <laughs> <laughs> so simple. I said, Mr. Asper, do you, in the service that you are indulging in, do you work with your hands? 
some, yes. Yeah. Are you, in the job that you hold, uh, liable to wear something other than the ordinary clothing, such as you have on now? Not that your clothing is ordinary. Forgive me. Yes, I would. <laughs> you would. Would it be a uniform of some kind? Yes. Do you work for a non-profit making organization? No. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Boone. Mr. Asper, is your work essentially physical? No. I would say this, with your permission, that it plays a very large part, Dick. It would be very difficult to break it down, mm. so uh, certainly that we could say that one spilled over into another. But with your permission, we'll give right. a qualified okay. yes to that. Do you instruct in any way? No. That's two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. Do you work indoors? Sometimes. You also work outdoors? Yes. Uh, could anyone on the panel enjoy your services if we were in the right area? <laughs> <laughs> Did I say something funny? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I don't think you might, you know, in, at the end of a long concatenation of events, get some pleasure ultimately out of some of the work that is being done, but it wouldn't be direct. I don't want to get involved in any concatenations. No. <laughs> Mr. Sir? Not this year. Mr. Asper, San Pedro is a, the harbor of the Los Angeles area. Yeah. Is your work in any way connected with the water or ships? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, does the uniform that you wear, the uniform that might be worn by a sailor? No. No. That's four down and six to go, Miss Fred. Do you have anything to do with rescue work of any kind, Mr. Asper? No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Boone. Mr. Asper, do you have anything to do with the fishing operation out of San Pedro? No. Six down and four to go, Miss Kilgallen. Mr. Asper, do you use anything uh, that might be described as tools or implements other than pencil and paper? Yes. Uh, are they solid rather than liquid? Yes. Do they have any movable parts? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Was that yes. a yes? Yes. Could I hold one of them in my hand? <laughs> no. That's seven down and three to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Asper, by any chance, are these things that you uh, toy with when you're doing your work alive? Are they alive? Yes. Uh, they're either animals or fish, is that correct? Yes. Are they fish? No. That's eight down and two to go, Miss <laughs> Fred. It would seem silly for me to ask you if they're animals, but are they? Yes. Are uh, they uh, four-legged animals? No. No, I knew they weren't. I wish I hadn't asked. Now, wait a minute. We've got to have a small conference. Oh, sometimes they have four legs. <laughs> <laughs> but not when they're standing up. They have two legs and two arms, right? No, you haven't got anything right yet. That makes it nine down and one to go, Mr. Boone. Do the animals swim in the ocean? Uh, have they recently been used uh, in uh, communication with man? In communication with man? Mm -hmm. By means of ultra-high frequency radio and taping. Mm -hmm. Oh, I could hold those in my hand. Mm -hmm. You couldn't hold a porpoise in my hand. Little one? No. No, they haven't. At <laughs> 10 down and no more. Go. A little porpoise in <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mr. Asper is a baby walrus keeper. <laughs> Mr. Asper just said, I got him on that one, and I said, you sure did. They're almost but, fish. They're almost fish. <laughs> Actually, they're, they're marine mammals. That's what Couldn't I hold even a baby one? Well, I I'll tell you what, you, you might on a, run about 300 pounds. No. How do you feel? Forget it. <laughs> Isn't that right? They run about 300 pounds. Well, close to four now. Close to 400. His babies are 400 pounds now. Why were you dubious about four legs? Well, because they do have four short limbs, but we call them flippers, not legs, you see. <laughs> <laughs>
Who calls them flippers? I do. <laughs> I call them legs. <laughs> <laughs> no, the thing that I love is that, that Mr. Asper feeds these little babies, these four, now 400-pound babies, he feeds them the bottle. <laughs> and he holds them there and pours the, the bottle onto them. How what, big is the bottle? What do they bottle? drink? What do they, they drink? They, uh, it, it's a formula made of mince clam and whipping cream and vitamin supplements. Minced ham and Minced clam. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Mint clam and what? Whipping cream? Yes. And vitamin supplements? Yes. Well, that's good. I'm glad you they're getting... You must give us your recipe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds great for a cocktail party. <laughs> well, yeah. everybody must dip. Yeah. All I can say, it's great to stick the panel, and thanks very much for making it possible. Thank it's you. nice to have had you in once in a Let's see what we can do with our second challenger. Will you enter and sign in, please? Norma Godfrey. Right now? Is it Miss or Mrs. Godfrey? Mrs. Mrs. Godfrey. And where are you from? Anchorage, Alaska. Anchorage, Alaska. That's true. And I might say that uh, Mrs. Godfrey deserves a medal. She's been in flight since Friday night, haven't you? Friday, Friday noon. Friday noon, getting here because of all the bad weather. We're very happy that you made it. May I present our panel, Mrs. Godfrey? Thank you. Now, will you join me over here? Uh, do you uh, know how we keep score, Mrs. Godfrey? Yes. All right, fine. Then we'll let the audience at the theater, in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. panel, Mrs. Godfrey is self-employed, deals in a service, and let's begin the general questioning with um, uh, Bennett Cerf. Mrs. Godfrey, I guess we can rule out any relationship to Arthur Godfrey, can we not? Yes. Uh, does the work that you do, the service you perform, is that done up in Alaska? Yes, it is. Is it work that uh, would be peculiar to Alaska, or might you be able to perform the same work anywhere in the United States? It would be very difficult to answer that yes or no, Benny. Is it, is it... You want to ask if it's peculiar yes, to Alaska? Is it, is it work that would be done more often in Alaska than in, in any part of the, the, the state proper? No. No. That's one down, a night to go, Miss Francis. Is this a service that uh, anyone on the panel might use? I would think so, yes. Sometimes. Mm. Would we come to you for the service? Usually. Do you work indoors? Usually. Do you have an office? Yes. Is there any paperwork connected with what you do? Yes. But I would say here, Arlene, that this is answered, I think, in the, in the substantive term, that there's paperwork with almost every occupation now, of yes. one kind or another. Uh, thank you, John. <laughs> Perfectly all right, darling. Um, is this a job that uh, takes place in front of any other people? Do other people watch you when you work? Usually not. That's two down and eight to go, Miss Bo Mr. Boone. <laughs> <laughs> Now, John, we have enough trouble in this business without you starting that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Richard. <laughs> We've known each other a long time. <laughs> Miss Godfrey, do you employ other people in yes. your business? Do the other people work outside of the place where you work. <laughs> I would say no to that, wouldn't you? No. Yeah. That's very good. That's three <laughs> down and seven to go with Kill Gallon. Don't always listen to him. Mrs. Godfrey, <laughs> excuse me, Vanna. Uh, Mrs. Godfrey, does your work uh, in any way, is it in any way connected with science or any branch of science? Yes. Uh, would the science have something to do with the earth or something that might be found in it? 
No. No. Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Mrs. Godfrey, does the work that you, the, the work that you and your assistants do, have anything to do with improving the health or appearance of the people for whom you are working? Yes. Uh, would it be more the appearance than their health? Usually not. That's five down and five to go, Miss Francis. Mrs. Godfrey, do you have to have any training for your job? Yes. Would you have a title other than Mrs. Godfrey? Yes. Would you be considered Dr. Godfrey? Yes. It's well. <laughs> uh, do you touch the people that come in contact with you? Yes. Do you uh, touch them from the waist up? Sometimes, or usually. By that, do you mean that you could also, under certain <laughs> circumstances, touch them from the waist down? Yes. Very good, Miss Francis. <laughs> it's not so good for me, but it's glorious for Dr. Godfrey. <laughs> Is my job to find out the kind of, of medicine that Dr. Godfrey received her degree in? Is that it? Uh huh. Uh, would Dr. Godfrey ever be associated with an x ray machine? Yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, is Dr. Godfrey a general practitioner in Alaska? No. Or rather than a specialist? He's not a general practitioner. I said rather than a specialist. Don't you be mean to me, John. It's the new year. <laughs> Six down and four to go, Mr. Moon. Dr. Godfrey, is your practice uh, principally in a clinic uh, or hospital? Yes. Rather than, than uh, in a private office? Is your practice, does it specialize in one group of people as opposed to another? No. No. That makes it seven down and three to go, Miss Kilgallen. We work in a hospital. No. That makes it eight down and two to go, Mr. Sir. See, Mrs. Godfrey, uh, since you do sometimes touch people below the waist, according to you, uh, can we rule out dentistry? Yes. <laughs> I would like to say, Bennett, the that is the, the deepest bite. root canal work I ever heard of. The worst bite in history. <laughs> known dentists who do quite a bit of wandering on <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Godfrey, if you use the x-ray machines and do not practice dentistry, uh, do you then uh, examine bone structures of people? Yes. Well, is that your particular uh, job of... Uh... In a way, it's important. It's a part of it. I don't know what you call this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to slip the towel on. Surgeon? She's self-employed. Anesthetist? Na not an anesthetist. They're all over. You're missing the, the, the one that would come most uh, quickly to your tongue. An x-ray ex specialist. No. Neurologist. A chiropractor. <laughs> I didn't know they used x-ray machines. Hmm? I didn't know chiropractors used x-ray machines. Oh, they oh, use yeah? x-rays to determine, particularly since they're interested fundamentally in, and uh, particularly in what's happening in cartilage and bone. They're very interested in those pictures, those wonderful pictures. You and studied in this country, even though you're practicing in, in Anchorage, aren't you? Yes. Where'd you study? I studied at the Palmer College of Chiropractic, which is in Davenport, Iowa. Huh? How long do you have to work, have to study? Uh, that is a four-year course, and then uh, there is additional training 
involved uh, <clears throat> six years total. Six years old. The only woman chiropractor in Alaska, lucky Alaska, that new state yeah. in our Thank you very much, Dr. Bingley. <laughs> We'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, here is a word from our sponsor. And now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery challenger, for which, as you all know, the panel is blindfolded. The blindfolds all in place, panel? Yes, Will you please. enter mystery challenger and sign in, please? of our mystery challenger, we go to a different form of questioning, one question at a time, in turn moving clockwise, and we'll begin it all with uh, Dorothy Kilgallen. Uh, are you best known for your work in television? Hmm. That would be yes and no, Dorothy. We would depend pretty much, you know, on what the individual goes to. I could for qualify it if you wanted me to. No, that's all right. You've got a yes and no. You, there's a good deal of activity in this area. Mr. Sir? Are you also famous as an entertainer in nightclubs? Uh, mm, yeah. Miss Francis? Do you sing? Uh-huh. Mr. Boone? Are you appearing regularly on a television show? Uh, uh no. I, I, I don't have my own show. That's one down and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Are you Sammy Davis Jr.? No! <laughs> <laughs> one day, one day, one day. I just hope I made secret kind of prayers and signs. Maybe this tonight. You never wouldn't. had a prayer. Sam. Never had a prayer. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I can see Bennett was champing at the bed. I think you had a pretty good idea after your question today, didn't you? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Sammy is so good at imitating so many things that he narrows the field. You don't know that many people who have that many voices. <laughs> that's, that's very true. I'd like to say he does the greatest show at the Copa I have ever seen. Just brilliant. Yeah. Thank you very kind. Singing and dancing. Dancing and I wish you had your gun here so you could see which one of you are faster on the draw. I'll tell you now, he's much faster. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll also tell you, he's got a very successful series. <laughs> <laughs> the Copa being the Copa Cabana, where I don't know where, where Sam gets the energy. This is what always fascinates me. Every time I watch you do one of your programs, I just say, golly, I never had that much energy when I was six, and I certainly <laughs> haven't got it now. Well, I, it's kind of fun for me. I think that's the reason why I enjoy doing it. I, I, I just say, the opening night of Sammy at the Copa, he did the twist with his mother, and she got more energy than he had. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then we now we know where it all came from. You know, it? Well, it's nice to have you back in New York, and of it's course, nice our wishes for continuing great success. Thank you. You've earned it, and, and earned it uh, abundantly. It's good to see somebody have it on good television. Isn't he Thank doing you. a picture now? You, is a picture soon to be released that you're in? Oh, yeah, the, the, the new picture, uh, Sergeant's Three, with Frank Sinatra and Dean. Sergeant's Three, yeah. yeah. And Peter Lawford I, and myself. I mean, before that, you did another one with Frank. And yeah, we did Ocean's Eleven. Ocean's Eleven. The whole gang of you were in that one, too. Now, we're, now we've attacked the West in this new picture. Oh, this <laughs> ought to be fun. Twist your way off, please, <laughs> Sammy. Twist off. Thanks very much. Twist, twist, twist off. Twist your way off. <laughs> and we'll be back after this word from our again dick boone it's a joy to be before the same cameras with you once more nice to have had you with us tonight and hope we see you back again very often and very soon Thank and you. good night miss arlene francis Good night, John. And Miss Boone, you'll always be a mister to Oh, me. man. <laughs> well, I just don't know what to say about that, John. Uh, was very kind to me before the show, and we spoke uh, sort of feelingly to one another, and uh, I come on this show in front of the American people, and he does that to me, and... Uh, I think he spoke too feelingly to me. <laughs> uh, he didn't kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good night. 
Good night. Well, Good night, Dorothy. Now. Jake, now you know what we're up against every week. <laughs> Good night, John. Good night, Bennett. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for being with us on What's My Line? What's My Line is a CBS Television Network production in association with Mark Goodson and Bill Kaufman. Johnny Olson speaking.